I'm Will Lewis III, and I'm Howard Patterson. We just got narratized by Tasha on the Narrative Club. Welcome to the Narrative Club. On today's episode, I have Howard Patterson and Will Lewis here to talk about their new movie, Bad Girls. How y'all doing today? Doing fine, doing fine, Scarlett. The Bad Girls. The Bad Girls, yes. The Bad Girls. The bad girls. Everybody's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm doing fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm glad to have you here with me today. Talk about this upcoming hot new film. Right, we're glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. Let's get in the hot. How did y'all come up with this story? I wrote it, actually I wrote it, maybe 10 years ago, I had an outline for it for almost like 10 years. Uh, just throughout time, working on other projects, uh, put it to the back burner, and then I actually had seen something that where Master P was about to drop a movie similar to it, and I was like, man, I've had this movie in my mind for 10 years, outline for 10 years, I said, I'm not gonna let you beat me to the punch, so got the crew together, and, Made it happen. And you had it just sitting for 10 years. So did you have to alternate it from back 10 years ago time to bring it into the time? Yeah, just updated, you know, just updated terminology and you know, the stuff that's happening now. And this is not your first feature film at all, right? You did other projects? No. Uh, together, this is our fourth project. This is our fourth project together. And I had three so. <laughs> okay, because it's like when we see it, it's like, okay, something new to us, but you're not new to this. No. Okay, so let's get to how did you go about picking your um, your actors and stuff for this role? Uh, our cast, we had uh, maybe a list of people, and uh, we narrowed it, narrowed it down. We didn't want just uh, local people. We had to have our, our, local, our local cast, and then we wanted people from outside of the city. That's where we reached out to LA Boss. She has a big following and I was a big fan of 3D Not She's a rapper from New Orleans and just something about her. And I was like, she's perfect for the role, you know, for the role that she was like play. Daisy. Daisy. She was a taller, taller brown fan, the more gangster at a the more gangster for her, man. Uh, all I should have known she was a rapper, yeah. she was, she was, she was most, she was most gangster, most hood, like, okay, let's go. Yeah, I, I've been a fan of hers for maybe about three years, so when the movie started coming together, I was like, I want my teeth for this, so, reached out to her, she was really cool, put it together. Okay, let's get down to these locations, you know what I'm saying, like, that, that's the only thing that blew me up, like, okay, I'm confused on the locations, that's just what I'm looking like, I think, it's been true. Because I honestly, I didn't know y'all was from Detroit. No, okay. Because I was, I was looking, I'm looking like, okay, I, I know that's true blood here. Mm -hmm. They came to Miami. We, we did go to Miami. And, yeah. and Vegas. Yeah. Uh, actually, we got the Vegas with stock footage, the outside of the, the aerial footage of Vegas with stock footage. Okay. And we actually went to Miami for the um, ABFF, okay. American Black Film Festival. And we shot for like two days worth of scenery shots. Just so many shots, like we went through neighborhoods, went you know, off South Beach, Ocean Drive. We took a lot of scenery shots, so everything scenery for Miami, basically outside, we filmed that. But the movie was filmed in Detroit, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Movie magic, movie magic. Yeah, because I, I, I honestly, I was sitting there looking, I said, shit. Yeah. Because I know this, so you got no palm trees to you. I think we did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. You know, like, no, we ain't got no problems here. Yeah. Then it was like, when they was going to Vegas. The Vegas, too. Like, they, they come out for the flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw people, because I showed like, and then, you know, because we, I consult with other people who watch the film, too, and this community we do have here. And I'm like, yeah, they jumped the scene, too. I didn't know where it was. I'm looking like, for a while, I forgot how. Oh, because oh, I'm nosy. <laughs> Somebody posted it. I'm looking like, oh shit. They posted it. Let's see if I can find the like page and the share page. Uh -huh. And then when you pull up, wheel, it's so many. I'm looking like, mm -hmm. send a friend request. Maybe it'll be the right one. But it's after I had watched the movie. Okay. So I'm looking like, okay. And then once I'm like, okay, they 
ain't got to be from here. Because the people from here, I said, oh, we know, let me get them on the show so I can, so we can figure out how they come up with this, the bad girl. Because, like, you never, um, too many people don't like dabbling, doing anything that actually makes the girls the bad people. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, I'm just like, oh. And they pretty. One is real rough, one is real timid. You know, like, she didn't want to do it, but we'll push down the show. You got to do what you got to do. So I'm looking like, we all dabbled into that. I'm looking like, okay, that's why. Okay. It's hot up there in the charts. It's, it's, it's doing good, but I don't particularly look at them as the bad, bad girl, like the bad people in the movie. You know, and every movie is a antagonist and you know, the protagonist is a good and a bad. They mm -hmm. do some bad things, but they're not actually bad people. It's a reason behind everything they do. <laughs> Come with <on. laughs> it. Oh, 
he, he wrote one of the films that we uh, put out to, Motor City Left. Uh, the majority of it I write, if I get stuck somewhere or he sees something that doesn't look right, like, oh, man, sometimes you gotta have a different perspective on things and you gotta just switch this up for the majority of it, for this film. So what y'all got coming next? It's gonna be a thing. Um, actually, he's writing the project. It's called Consequence, yeah. yeah. And we got another, and we both going to Bad Girls too, yeah. I was gonna say, because I seen somebody say, well, you know, part two. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a fan of sequels. So. Yeah. Well, well they said, well, they said, mm-hmm. I, I kept going to the end, like, mm-hmm. it's about to go around another back again, wouldn't it? Yeah. But, oh, so you gotta bring it up. Sorry. In the bank, AD, that's when you just said, I'm pretty sad today. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. They started right like that. I'm like, why did they even yeah. come to the, come to the bank? It's a, it's a reason in part two. It was for, that's why it's a part two. Right. So, for me, the movie has been doing good. So, if the movie is doing well, why not try to you know, keep the. You see, keep it going. Yeah, you see how it going. I, I enjoyed it when I'm, when I'm filming and I'm working. I don't get a chance to really as much with the cast and so I mean I interact enough to get a movie made but on the personal side I don't have that uh, opportunity with my partner he's a more personal guy and I'm making sure the light's right this and that that he could keep the movie on the set light so he got to build relationships with a lot more people and once every film is over everybody's gone and I'm editing I'm like damn I miss everybody you know, like, uh, we gotta run this back, you know, where I'm more comfortable. So, where you do have the actual, oh, yeah, because y'all didn't have to, because um, you did the premiere, it just went straight to. Uh, COVID. Yeah. I want to say, yeah, so that, that, that shut everything down where you could. Because that's usually where the most, that's when people celebrate all the hard work they do yeah, after they have the party and things like mm-hmm. that. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that is when you can't get on set, you got to feel that love that. Chance, you know, and like and it's saying, when you look, yeah. And, yeah, when you edit it, you just like, I kind of miss this. Like, I want to, you know, like, where's Crystal? Well, I think we could go find Crystal. We go hang out with Crystal, but it's like, man, it's not to you. I miss LA, like, you know, so we had, uh, we had a good time filming with us, and I'm more concerned with the project, making sure the project is right. Um, I'm so focused on that. I, I didn't have a chance.
because I looked and seen, like I checked the stars when I'm looking at something. Like I said, somebody had posted that posted. My best friend had watched it. She said it was good. Then one of my friends, he called like, did you see it? Because it's good. Let me check it. I said, it looks like smoke here is good. And then when I found it was from Detroit, I duh, Detroit's so hot right now. <laughs> Detroit's so hot right now. Like we know the stars are good. Like, yeah. We're for sure doing this. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's independent. It's the Detroit spirit. Like, it's a lot of hustlers from the city. And that's our spirit right now. It's just the opportunities. It's, it's low here for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So, to, to have some guys grab some cameras and some lights and a mic and put it together, it's, it's, it's a number of film crews here doing it yeah. well. And the whole uh, concept people don't really get is. Um, whether it's a good film, bad film, poorly did, greatly did, the main objective is, is to get the project done. You always can do it another one and another one. You're only going to be great. That's it. Like, you don't know you're great. I'm like, once you start and you finish it and you put it out, then, you know, you get your critique and then you right, work from there. Right, right. So, that's when we, uh, we might critique other, other films. Should be accessible, you know, if you get two or three people together. And you can still work a project, you know, 
Yeah. Really much hurt you got. Yeah. I always um I always tell people that, you know, when they come with any idea. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, people don't people be shying away from it, but like you need a budget. Mm -hmm. I mean you need a budget, you need to set it. I don't care if it's, if you say you got five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. then you make what you, you know, need so yeah, make what you got from that five hundred dollars. That even if you feel like you're gonna feed them or you're gonna cook or you're not. Right. Either you're gonna do the makeup yourself or you know I mean I didn't have people say I, I need the makeup. Like, right. I need that makeup. And it was a guy. He said, yeah, he's like, I need the makeup. Cause that's what his budget cost for. He started the project, he wanted to finish it. That's and, that, and that's all that as I tell people, like that's the only matter. You don't have to be the greatest because you're learning. Everybody you learn that's how we you learn how to fraud, then you walk. You know, then you can learn how to read, spell, it all it comes is in steps. So people don't get it now. They don't get it. And it's like, I'm so glad you said it because they don't. They just think, okay, well, they think I can do it. True, but you gotta have a plan first. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta have a plan. Yes, you do. So we know we got the bad girls too. They working on that people. Give them time. It's coming. It's coming. COVID threw us off. COVID, COVID, COVID threw everybody off. Like, that's been crazy. But, it, it, yeah. but the one thing I can say, COVID did, um, it made the digital platform great. Oh, yeah, they, they was for the, for the, I'm on the by the director who make movies and the business man part of it. You know, I'm on the, I see both sides, the business part and the uh, creative part. The business part, there was a lot of streaming going, but a lot of, I don't know how much the audience know, before a lot of us to get paid, the filmmakers to get paid, they had something to do with advertising, and a lot of advertising got threw off during COVID, so some advertisers wasn't putting out as much, or they had to rearrange the way they was advertising their products, mm -hmm. and, uh, to go on the, the streaming platforms. So, some of it was good, a lot of movies was getting screened, but 100% the money went away, maybe not as bad as much as you might have thought it might have been because it was a lot of streaming hours, put it like that. So that threw off some of the, from the business side, everything is rebounding. It's, it's all right. Yeah. It is all right. Yeah. Okay, well, where, where often do you watch this movie for those that have not watched The Bad Girls? Uh, Amazon Prime. Tubi TV, Google Play, uh, YouTube. I don't think we got one out there anymore yet. So Amazon Prime, Tubi. Tubi is a real good platform. It's a free platform. Uh, Google, Google Play, YouTube TV. Yeah, so okay. Well, we thank you for coming, sitting down, talking mm -hmm. with us. And we sure can't wait to have you back to go over the bad girls too when they come out and any project y'all got. Crystal the doll, she did an excellent job. Crystal, I was Cr Crystal was on point. Carmen did an excellent job. LA, he threw my teeth. I'm gonna make sure I get all the local guys. Or Val, June, Damaris. Man, God, if you were here, they talk again. That's my man. Alfonso, Alfonso, Alfonso did a good job. Uh, just Jamal, Jamal, Jamal Willard. James, he's an actor. He's from Detroit. He moved to California. He's, he's doing his thing out there. He flew in and did the same with us. Just want to say thank you to everybody who's a part of it. And let's try to get together and do part two. Do this again.